guys, welcome to my makeup tutorial. Hey, hey, it's May May. <gasps> I didn't see you there. What am I doing? Hi guys, thank you for watching my first uh, makeup tutorial because uh, that's where I'm at in terms of killing time during quarantine. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is pull back these unruly bangs. And we're going to let go. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I'm just going to do for now. Uh, first I'm going to start off with primer. Now, I don't normally use primer. I don't even own any. But for Christmas, my older sister asked for the Tasha Silk Canvas. Um, and she's not here to tell me that I can't use it. So we're just going to go in with that. Uh, we have like a little thing. Uh, this is for like taking out the product out of the container and to avoid like the germs going in with your dirty ass finger. I'm gonna put that on right here. I don't even know if I'm blending it. Like I should really use the mirror that's in front of me. Do that. This makeup is not gonna stay on if I'm just gonna sweat profusely like this. Oh my god. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Water Fresh with SPF 30. SPF 30. Oh my god. I honestly don't know how this is gonna turn out. Like, this is gonna be an utter disaster, but that's what editing's for. Now, normally I don't usually do my forehead because my bangs covered anyways but i realized that when i'm stuck in a friggin wind tunnel and my bangs do like this thing i don't want to look like i'm some two-tone disaster you feel me i will not bronze it or contour it like these little no and then you're gonna realize that's not blended at all when you actually look into the mirror. I didn't even explain what look I'm doing. Okay, hold up. I am going to do kind of my everyday full face makeup opposed to like an everyday, actual everyday makeup look, which is usually just like my eyebrows filled in. Uh, but this is what I would do if I had like an extra half hour in the morning to do a nice face of makeup um, to leave the door. So I normally just like squirt foundation on my face and if it's not enough, I'll add more because I prefer to apply it directly onto my skin so then like no products going to waste. I can just like do this the entire time and that like qualifies as a good makeup video. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do like a light conceal with my, oh my god, hello, with my Clay de Peau something. I'm just gonna dab that on my eye. Also note that this is not the right color because I've not gotten any sun since I've not left the house. And uh, this is kind of the same color as my foundation at this point. So who knows if it'll even brighten up my eye. Who's to say? I'm gonna blend that in. Just close both eyes. So when I open them, it's just a, it's just a nice surprise when I check myself out in the mirror. Um, and to set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Okay! Also, when you're doing your makeup, make sure you're wearing your boyfriend's white shirt. 
so you can get all brown in the collar because he's gonna love that and take a big powder brush and finish it off with uh, the cover XXF cover FX um, and this is like their press mineral foundation and I do this because within five minutes of finishing this makeup even though I'm a powdered mess, I'm going to get the shiniest T-zone you will ever see. It is like a slip and slide down my unbridged Asian nose. It is just like a, like a seal down the center of my face. I'm going to top it off with like hydrating face spray. It's this Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray Thirsty Skin Relief. I always love it when beauty gurus spray their faces. Not even beauty gurus. Okay, so I'm surprised I don't look like a clown because all the beauty gurus I watch are like from RuPaul's Drag Race. And I'm... Do you see this? Yeah? Well, just give me a warning! Just let me close my eyes. Okay, ready? How many spurts? Two. Like... Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh! We're gonna edit that all out. Okay. Anyways, I'll do it again. Uh, now that foundation is done, I'm going to shape my eyebrows because I feel like that's usually the next. Oh, Got to contour. Now I don't usually contour, which is probably why. I forgot that my whole entire routine, um, but I use the Tarjus Pro Glow, and it's really weird because it's advertised as a contour palette, but like I really don't know what colors are for contouring besides the bottom two. Um, so I don't usually do a cream contour, so I'm gonna use the color Sculpt. And I still don't know how to contour, to be honest. Like, I don't know if I have a round face. I don't know if I have a square face. Um, so I just kind of pretend that there's a cheekbone. All right, eyebrows. Um, so I just get a little product on an angled brush. I just start filling in. I'm pretty happy with my eyebrow shape. I've never gotten my eyebrows done by anyone else except for my mom when I was in grade six and I had those like big wide Asian brows. So God bless her for getting rid of those. Um, I think they're okay. And then do the other one. And I'm a strong believer of eyebrows are sisters not twins but girl sometimes my eyebrows ain't even friends like I don't know stunning so I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio um, I'm probably gonna use the color rose because I'm not confident enough to use any other color and then I'm gonna put them on the apples on my cheeks <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> like you could already tell that my nose is getting shiny like I'm not even finished my face and my nose is already like also I did check for boogies before I film this, so you're welcome. The main part of the video is the winged eyeliner. Now this look I have done for as long as I remember. When I first started wearing makeup, probably about grade 10, this is what I used religiously. Now we are using Essence eyeliner pen, waterproof because you know this girl likes to cry. 
I've seen a lot of videos where they're like, oh, the trick for the perfect cat eye and whatever. And then you're, they're usually like, oh, you could start on the outside, start in the middle. Honestly, honey, you just gotta pray and just hope that they turn out even. I usually just go with what feels good that day. For the longest time, I would pull my eyes back to make sure it was nice and swooshed. Um, but I don't want wrinkles. Like, I look at, I already have wrinkles. They're smile lines. Okay, we might need to redo this makeup. Or who am I kidding? We're not going out in public. All right, let's just go into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the middle. And work the way out. Okay, now we're gonna work on the wing. And the wing length really just depends on my mood. Depends how sassy I'm feeling that day. Or it really depends on how much I screwed up. And if you notice, that I'm not particularly sassy and the eyeliner wing is particularly long, it's very likely that I just screwed up. See, you see how, like, I would honestly say both aren't bad, but one is just more winged more like curved than the other is more like jetted out and I don't have time to fix that because realistically my hair kind of falls this way anyway I mean that's what I try to do to like kind of make my face more of an oval because you don't need makeup when you just cover your face with your hair I remember when I first started wearing makeup or maybe not like wearing makeup regularly but sneaking it the odd day in grade seven, like I wouldn't wear it every day because I know I'd get caught by my mom. But I had like lip gloss and mascara. That was probably the extent of it and I thought it was so cool. And I remember putting on mascara for the first time and you would hear that myth where you're like, oh, you can never put on mascara with your mouth closed. Like it's impossible. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm an expert. I think that's okay. Oh, no, it's not okay. Uh, sometimes when they're too clumpy, I'll take an old um, eyebrow brush. But because there's like barely any product, I just use it to unclump some lashes that happen to stick together. Ooh. This is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Chestnut. I usually don't go for like a super pigmented lip. Uh, so that's why it really helps to wear that lip balm base, I guess then it kind of automatically gives it a glossy finish unless I go for like a matte lip which I rarely do these days so there we go so this is the finished look um, this has been like my go-to look my signature face for few years now um except as of recently since i don't wear makeup ever anymore so starting these videos have been a lot of fun thank you so much for watching